Josh, you've officially been a demon for just over a week now. Talk us through this past week, how have you felt? Has it sunk in yet? A little bit. Uh, it's obviously very exciting. Can't wait to meet a few boys and, and get stuck into training, but it was obviously a bit of a whirlwind and uh, for it to finally go through and um, yeah, become a demon was, yeah, I was ecstatic, so very excited and yeah, can't wait. And what motivated you to come to the D's? I think just the list, obviously, and the, the proud history of the club and uh, I guess just everyone involved in the footy club, like you can see where, where the club's heading and uh, obviously the success they've had the last few years and um, yeah, the direction that the club's going and uh, I was just very, very happy to you know, be a part of part of the team now and uh, the club wanting wanting me to come and be a part of uh, the, the team and part of the players and uh, yeah, just very excited to get into it. You're quite a versatile player. Are you more comfortable up forward or down back or how do you see yourself fitting into the team? I've always played up forward uh, growing up and over the last couple of years I've been able to sort of uh, develop a bit of craft down back and I've loved that as well and um, yeah, I think that's also uh, helped me with my forward craft and playing up forward so I feel confident um, wherever the team wants me to play and um, obviously playing in the ruck as well. Uh, I love doing that and yeah, I think I just I just want to be out there and playing so um, I think whatever position but yeah, just love it. As you said, you're looking forward to working with the group. Is there anyone in particular you're keen to work alongside? Uh, obviously, big Ben Brown and uh, Tommy McDonald and Obviously, uh, the two big ruckmen in uh, Max Gorn and Brody Grundy, uh, just to learn off of those guys, and obviously they're very good players, and uh, they've been able to, you know, show show their their talent over the years, and I just can't wait to get in and, and learn off of them and, and soak in as much as I can. So, yeah, it's awesome. You've been in the system for quite a few years now, so you've got some experience under your belt, but you're still only 25. Do you feel like some of your best footy is still to come? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, I feel like I've got a lot to prove and. I feel like there's a lot more in the tank for me and um, I feel like, you know, I don't feel like I've obviously lived up to what I want to be personally and um, I just really want to get out there and, and showcase that and have a good pre-season and get stuck into it. So, yeah, I just can't wait to learn off of everyone here and uh, really get stuck in. You talk about learning off people here, but do you feel like, you know, you've come, in, come from two pretty successful systems, do you feel like you can bring some lessons to the group as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's all what it's all a part of as well. Like everyone can feed off of each other and everyone's got something uh, that they've learnt somewhere differently and everyone can have an input. So um, yeah, I can't wait to, to come in and, and obviously learn off of everyone as well, but also put my foot forward and um, show what I've got as well and what I've learned along the way too. We can see that you're in the gym this morning and you were in last week. Are you looking just to get stuck into the off-season work pretty early? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's the way to do it. I think it's just uh, getting on top of it as quick as possible. And, and obviously, once it comes pre-season, it's really just hitting the ground running. So, uh, yeah, I'm keen to put in the work now and uh, hopefully it pays off come pre-season time. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you in the red and blue. Thanks very much.